December 1941. The vast, cold workshops of the Mechanisation Experimental Establishment, Farnborough, England. The fate of the invasion hung on a desperate gamble. Major General Percy Hobart stood over a valentine tank, now shrouded in a bizarre, collapsible canvas skirt. It was not armour, but fabric. It was not a weapon, but a boat. Fortress Europe was being built, mile by concrete mile. Every Allied planner knew a conventional landing against the Atlantic Wall would be a massacre. Infantry needed immediate, heavy fire support. They needed tanks on the beach, the moment the ramp dropped. But how? The answer, conceived by engineer Nicholas Straussler, was the duplex drive, or DD tank. Give the tank buoyancy via the folding screen and propulsion via two small propellers linked to the main engine. A victory of pure physics over common sense. Hobart demanded the test, not on a lake, but the churning Solent. Slowly, agonizingly, the Valentine waddled into the freezing water. It floated. But as that fragile metal and canvas target bobbed in the waves, the true question remained. Could this aquarium on tracks survive the guns of Normandy?